in this video, I'm going to solve this question. A linear regression model y is equal to alpha plus beta x plus epsilon is estimated using OLS. It turns out that the estimated beta hat equals zero. And then we have to check what does it imply. First of all, I'm making a small change here. So we are given in the equation that the linear regression model is small y is equal to alpha plus beta small x plus epsilon. So instead of small y and small x, I'm writing capital Y and capital X. So I'm saying that the linear regression model is this. Okay, just a small change because it becomes really easy to work with capital X and capital Y and this is what we are used to actually. Now the next step is to see what happens to R square when the beta hat is equal to zero. Well, if you understand the logic of R square, then you should know that R square is equal to ESS divided by TSS, where your ESS is the explained sum of squares and the TSS is the total sum of squares. Basically, R square measures the percentage of total variation in Y explained by X. Now in this question, we are given that beta hat is equal to zero. Well, that means that X has no influence on Y. So ideally, this implies that your ESS is equal to zero. And this implies that your R square should also be equal to zero. So if you understand the concept of R square, well, this question is a direct question. So you can just say that the answer is part A. Uh, but if you want to solve it mathematically, you can do it that way as well. So let's try and solve this mathematically. So basically we are given that beta hat, which is an estimate of beta is equal to zero. And then we have to see that what does it imply in terms of R square. So basically we have to establish some kind of relationship between beta hat and R square to see how does this influence this. Now, first of all, let's write the formulas to calculate beta hat and R square. So we know that beta hat is equal to summation x i y i divided by summation x i square. And here my small x i is equal to capital x i minus x bar and small y i is equal to capital y i minus y bar. Note that my regression equation is this. So I have taken capital y and capital x in my regression equation. And this is how I'm defining small x i and small y i. So this is the formula to calculate beta hat. Now let's write the formula to calculate R square. Well, there are many formulas to calculate R square, but because beta hat is entirely written in the form of X and Y, let's use that formula of R square, which is totally in the form of X and Y. So we can say that R square is equal to summation X I Y I divided by under root of summation X I square and under root of summation y i square whole square. So this is one formula to calculate r square. Basically, if you notice the term inside the bracket is nothing but the correlation between y and x. And this is something that holds true in case of a simple linear regression model. So in case of a simple linear regression model, the coefficient of determination, which is r square is equal to correlation between x and y whole square. So this is correlation between x and y. So I'm going to use this formula of r square. Now let's manipulate this formula a bit. So we are given that r square is equal to this. So squaring this, we get that this is equal to summation x i y i multiplied by summation x i y i divided by summation x i square multiplied by summation y i square. In this equation, in equation number one, we had under root here in the denominator. And now because we are squaring it, we don't have any under roots here. Now, as you can see from this equation, this portion is beta hat. So we can write that R square is equal to beta hat multiplied by summation X I Y I divided by summation Y I square. So this is the relationship between R square and beta hat. And now we are given in the equation that this is equal to zero. So this implies that R square is also equal to zero. So the answer is part A. Okay. And that's it for this question.